First reading, a reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 17 to 19. But you, grid up your loins, stand up and tell them everything that I commanded you. Do not break down before them, or I will break you before them. And I, for my part, have made you today a fortified city, an iron pillar and a bronze wall against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, its princes, its priests, and the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they shall not prevail against you. For I am with you, says the Lord, to deliver you. The word of the Lord. In order to bear witness to the Lord, we should always make sacrifices. That is what we see in the life of St. John the Baptist. Let us listen to today's Gospel passage. The reading is taken from the Gospel of St. Mark. Herod himself had ordered John's arrest and he had him tied up and put in prison. Herod did this because of Herodias, whom he had married, even though she was the wife of his brother Philip. John the Baptist kept telling Herod, It isn't right for you to marry your brother's wife. So Herodias held a grudge against John and wanted to kill him. But she could not because of Herod. Herod was afraid of John because he knew that John was a good and holy man and so he kept him safe. He liked to listen to him even though he became greatly disturbed every time he heard him. Finally, Herodias got her chance. It was on Herod's birthday when he gave a feast for all the top government officials the military chiefs and the leading citizens of Galilee. The daughter of Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod and his guests. So the king said to the girl, What would you like to have? I will give you anything you want. With many vows he said to her, I swear that I will give you anything you ask for even as much as half of my kingdom. So the girl went out and asked her mother, what shall I ask for? The head of John the Baptist, she answered. The girl hurried back at once to the king and demanded, I want you to give me here and now the head of John the Baptist on a plate. This made the king very sad but he could not refuse her because of the vows he had made in front of all his guests. So he sent off a guard at once with orders to bring John's head. The guard left, went to the prison and cut John's head off. Then he brought it on a plate and gave it to the girl, who gave it to her mother. When John's disciples heard about this, they came and got his body and buried it. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends in Christ Jesus, as I said earlier, to bear witness to the Lord, we must always sacrifice. John the Baptist, being the last prophet of the Old Testament, 
and the first prophet of the New Testament bore witness to all what we heard in today's gospel. Dear friends in Christ, when we think about the life of St. John the Baptist, it is very clear that he stood for justice and truth. He spoke the truth. He lived a humble, austere way of life. He prepared the way for the Messiah. He was preaching well. He was all the time preaching for the conversion of so many people. As a result, he baptized so many people. He was all the time tried his best to please God and prepare the way for the Messiah to come into the world. But what happened in today's gospel passage? Though he did good, though he was preparing the way for Jesus to come, ultimately what happened? He was arrested, he was tortured, he was imprisoned, and finally he was beheaded and killed. Therefore, dear friends in Christ, he is a classical example for you and me to bear witness to the Lord. The same thing happened to Jesus. Jesus came into this world to do good. He preached. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. He was all the time doing good to the people. But what happened ultimately? He was killed. He was tortured. He was crucified. And finally, he gave his life for the entire people of the world. Therefore, dear friends in Christ, this Catholic life, this Catholic way of life, this Christian way of life is not an easy life. There are so many challenges, difficulties, hardships for our faith. In order to exercise this faith, we need to sacrifice so many things. In order to bear witness to the Lord, in order to bear witness to Christ, in order to bear witness to the teachings of Jesus, we must always sacrifice our, maybe our sins, maybe our mistakes, maybe our bad habits. Therefore, like St. John the Baptist, let us try to bear witness to the Lord. And also, let us try our level best to always stand for justice, truth, so that we may become worthy people who always stand by truth and justice. Amen. Sri